What's going on everyone and welcome back. Today we are in Abilene, Texas at Oak Creek Homes and we're getting ready to check out the Magnificent 7. Now I can only imagine that they call it that because of the amount of floor plans uh, that can go inside of this home. So as we're going to be touring it today, this home is a three bedroom, two bath home. However, it does have several different options for four bedrooms as well as five bedrooms within this double wide. So super cool kind of layout and just a lot of versatility, you know what I mean? Now all of this, the three bedrooms and two baths sit inside of 1,475 square feet. I know it's getting a little windy out here, so I'll try and make this walk around out here quick. Uh, and it does have a footprint of 28 feet by 54 feet. But really nice home once you get inside. Now with uh, the bigger uh, bedroom count options, you kind of, right now it has a living room as well as a family room, but you do away with the family room, which sits just off of the dining room right here by the sliding glass door. But other than that, you'd still have a living room, which is super nice. Now, when it comes to the price of this home, it is uh, gonna start out at approximately $147,000. Of course, that could vary due to, obviously, a number of reasons. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, so when you do first walk in, this is the view that you are greeted with. Like I said, you've got the living room right here. You can see the family room, just like this great open concept here within this home. But before we get into it all, I'll go ahead and turn you around, I'll let you check out the front door. And then from there, it just kind of pours into the living room area. You've got some windows looking out towards the front of the house, and then, you know, just tons and tons of space you got this nice built-in media center over here you got some built-ins on either side and then you've got a little spot to put uh, like your vcr or dvr or whatever they're called nowadays <laughs> i brain farted on it i guess you really use anything i know we were using uh we playstation when we have it now that we're moving around we just kind of use whatever's in the airbnbs but I don't even know what they use. But anyway, from the living room, you come into this kitchen. You've got a nice little island right here with a little lip for some stools. Let's see, got a outlet on this side. I'm not sure if there's one on the other side. We'll have to go back around and look real quick. But plenty of storage up under here. And then these are all the well, several of the different layouts. Uh, you can find that over on our website. I'll put that up for you, um, or at least the link to it, so you can look at the different variations, because there's a lot of them. But uh, anyway, on the back side of the kitchen, you've got kind of like a little buffet area right here. And then there's some nice open shelves going around this kitchen too. We've been seeing a lot of that. Oak Creek, it's been, uh, today's been the first day I've been at one. And it's been quite fun to see like the variations of the homes. They have, you know, homes in all different price ranges. They've got them with uh, these batten strips in here. They've got them, um, you know, with tape and textured walls. They've got super expensive ones. They've got nice cheap ones and just all different types of stuff. But the floor plans have all been fairly unique i am kind of excited um there is one that they have here i forget the name of it but we're going to get into it later on it's probably the last one i do today uh it's that one with kind of the wraparound corner front porch it's double wide i think they're, they're called it's called a bunch of different things from different builders like the southern bell you know you know what i'm talking about if you've seen them if you haven't then uh we will be touring it so don't you worry, it's a gorgeous double wide. Probably one of the biggest I've ever been in, but super nice. Anyway, all right, enough of that home. Just off of the kitchen, you're coming into the utility room. You got the furnace right here, washer dryer hookups, nice little shelf up there. And then you've got the door going out uh, the back side of the home. So this could be like a little mud room too, if you wanted it. Uh, you've got your electric panel right here. And then you just kind of flow into the dining room. It's nice that you've got sliding glass door right there so you can put a nice porch out there, you know what I mean? Get that grill on, especially now that we're getting into the summertime. 
I'm gonna have to start rotating my shirts. I've been so used to, and I've still, even down here in Texas, been wearing all my long sleeve shirts, but uh, time to start breaking out the old tees. Then just past the dining room, you've got this little family room. Now, like I said, in some of the floor plan variations of this model, uh, this could be a fourth bedroom right here. So you'd have another wall coming up uh, and then you'd have just a much longer hallway. But another cool little place, put another TV in here, or this could just be like a little socialization area so y'all can break away, unplug a little bit and just kind of hang out as a family. But off of that, you have the first of the two bedrooms sitting on this side. Uh, both of them sit up towards the front side of the house. And nice size rooms. That would be the, my only concern with this model. Uh, if you were to stick, and I'd have to look at the floor plan, uh, but if you were to turn this into a five bedroom, would you lose the size of the bedrooms? You know what I mean? Because that's you'd be putting them all right in here in this little area. So I don't know if the rooms would get smaller or if they'd still stay this size, because these are good size. But this is the second bedroom. Again, pretty much the same thing as the one we just came out of, just flopped into its closet. Then all the way at the end of the hall, is the first full bathroom. So you got a single vanity right here, a toilet, and then a shower and tub combo. That'd be my other thing. If there were five bedrooms, meaning four on this side, yeah, you'd have to figure out how to squeeze in another bathroom. That'd be a lot of people trying to utilize one bathroom. You know what I mean? Let's see, is there a five bedroom on here? I just want to look real quick. Yeah, so one of the, I didn't, I forgot to look at the size, but they did add that, so technically it would be five bedroom, three bath. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, this is uh, the master bedroom. Again, sitting up on the front side of the house. Into its closet. And then into the ensuite, you've got the double vanity, great big mirror, huge soaking tub, sitting up underneath of this transom window. That is one thing I can say. They, these tubs and all these uh, Oak Creek homes have been ginormous. Toilet, then you also have a, a standalone shower just opposite the the vanity, so you got shower head. All right, so let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Again, if you do want any more information on this model or Oak Creek Homes, you can click the link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search all the floor plans we've toured across the country, site built, manufactured, modular, all different types of stuff. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter by state. Uh, you can also filter by price, number of bedrooms, square footage, all that fun stuff. And uh, you can find that perfect dream home for you. And don't worry, if you get over there, once you find that uh, home, you can take the full tour just like you are right now. Uh, so you can kind of know what to expect. And if I did go too fast, there's also pictures. So you can go down there and look at all the picture stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. My name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.